All right, finally, the material pack is out. This is 35 fully procedural materials. This is the pack that you get when you download it on Blender Market. I'm not gonna discuss how to import them. I made a video on the page where you can download these on Blender Market, but it's pretty simple. You just append the materials in your project. So let's get into showing you all these materials and what they look like. All right, so here's the first one. By the way, all of these are compatible with Eevee and Cycles. This is the Cycles render. Of course, these ones with glare always look better in Eevee. So you can do that in Eevee. Uh, but yeah, so this is the first abstract material. The majority of them are photorealistic materials, but here's the first one. And all of these have been consolidated into these nice group nodes. So you can just play with the scale here instead of seeing all of the nodes. You just get this nice little thing that you can use and quickly edit the materials. All right, let's get into the next one. So there's 35 of these, so this will be a minute. So let's go to the next abstract one. We got this nice... Nice, almost like a bowling ball. This would be a cool bowling ball or something like that. Um, this is the cycles render of that. It's very, it's got a clear coat on it. And of course it has a nice little group node so we can play with the scale here. And then also the hue, so you can change the color of this one. So it's really cool. Uh, the purple is my favorite, but you can go in and uh, make some crazy, make some crazy stuff with this. So in total, there are four abstract materials in this one. This is another one of the glowy ones. And then we got the last abstract one, which is this one. It's kind of cool, kind of weird, all circular. Here's the group node for it. So you can play with the scale and the scale of these little sort of spray painted things here. And then of course we got the hue. These car paint materials I think are my favorite, especially this hue node here. You can go and make some really interesting colors. It's got some stuff on the Fresnel. So we got three car paint materials. This one's of the, of all of them, this one's my favorite because you can hit the hue node and you get these really, really nice color schemes that you can put on your car paint stuff. I mean, on any render you want. And here's the other. We got this one. It's one of my favorites, look at that. All right, let's get into the cement shader. These look best on cycles. As you can see, you can kind of get a, a good idea of that bumping, that bumpiness of this one for the uh, cycles render. But of course, Eevee works just the same. And we have Cement 2. This one's brighter and smoother. Again, here's the Cycles render for that. It's good for just a wall in a, an environment scene. So we got these cracks that you can make much bigger or much smaller. Then you can play with the bump, a more, a more subtle change. And then you got more bump here for another subtle change. I love this one. This is my chalk material. If you ever play with chalk, you know it's got those little scratches and the big dents. And it just has that look. Here's the Cycles render for that. That's how it looks in cycles. Go back to Eevee, and then this one has a lot of editing. You can change the hue of it. So we got all those pastel, we got a bunch of pastel colors, and we got the scale of this right here, these cracks. Then we got the scale of this. All of this affects the bumpiness. This is one of the most complex shaders of the group when it comes to its editability. We have a nice copper shader. We can play with the scale of the dents, make them much smaller, make them much bigger, depending on your design, of course. And then we can change the color, of course. It would no longer be copper if you change the color, but this is all up to you. And if you ever want to edit the materials even more, you would click on the group node, hit tab, and that opens up all my, uh, all my edits. We got a nice glass shader, it makes it very foggy. These look a lot better in cycles. Eevee isn't the best for glass, but it's passable. You get some passable glass and you can see those little fog streaks in the glass. Now we got scratch glass. Here's the, the cycles render. It's hard to tell in this particular render setup, but you got these nice scratches. We'll go back to Eevee. And uh, yeah, we got a bunch of cool scratches in, uh, in this material that you can play with, add to some glass. And uh, you can, of course, make the scratches bigger, make them smaller, whatever you want in this group node. We got a super detailed one, another glass shader. We got some big dents, we got some small dents. This is called the weathered glass material. So you can you can up the, the fogginess of the inside here. You can change the scale of these big dents. You can also change the scale of the, uh, the smaller, more subtle detailed dents right there. All right, now we have one of my favorites. It's this dented sort of weathered gold material. And you can change the scale of this right here, change these big dents as well as the color. Here's the uh, cycles render, kind of catches those details in much better quality in cycles, but that's that's how cycles is, but also looks really, really good in Eevee as well. You still get all that detail.
Now you have a simple scratched gold material. Everything's editable. You can make some really big scratches. And here is the cycles render. So we get some really nice scratches in our gold. All right, now we have a nice granite material. We have some detail in these bumps, just some subtle bumping going on. And you can change the scale of those bumps as well as the scale of everything going on here, depending on the table or whatever you're working on with this granite. Here is the cycles render, nice and full. All right, now we have this nice hard surface style shader. Up the scale of that, bring it up, bring it down. It's very cool. Here's the cycles. It's really, really cool. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna use a lot of that on my sci-fi stuff. Here's your iridescent shader. Had to displace it to really show you the beauty of it. And you can change the hue. And a cool thing about these hue sliders, if you add a keyframe and you bring it all the way to the end, it's the same. So you can just animate it in a loop, this sort of interesting animation for the iridescent shader. Here's a cool one. This is the lava shader. You can go in, you can change the strength. There's two, there are two base colors here. The top one, I believe, is the, the louder one. Yeah, so you can change the color of your lava, and then you can change the scale. And then if you add, and you can add some stuff to this if you want it to animate. And here is the cycles. It's really, really cool. I love this one. All right, here's the leather material. I put a lot of work into this one. You can hit tab some fun stuff going on in here. And you can change the scale of the big leather pieces, you can change the scale of these cracks right here on the top. Just have some fun. This one's really, really cool. It's a realistic leather shader. You can check out the cycles version of it. It's really, really cool. I love this one. And then here's an alternate black leather version. Same, same changes done to this one. You can play with that. Here's the cycles. You wanna make these much bigger, makes it more realistic, you know? Here's the heavy duty metal material, a lot of detail on this one. This one's really cool for like apocalyptic scenes, things like that. A lot of detail going on. You can change the base color, change the scale. Everything's editable, it's really cool. And you can hit tab, see what's going on and change even more things. Here's a simple one, just mosaic glass. You can take this right over here and you can change the roughness of your glass, make it completely clear. Or you can change the scale of this Voronoi looking Here's some mud and water, kind of a weird planet looking. If you put it on a plane, it really shines. And you can play with the scale of the water here or the scale of the mud, have some fun. Here's a scratched rose gold, just a simple version of the other one. And you can check out the, the cycles version right over here. It's just scratched rose gold, really cool, I love this one. All right, now we got some rust, another apocalyptic appropriate shader. Got some cool stuff, we got a lot of detail in the metal here, kind of diffuse that light. And we got a lot of cool things going on. Here's the cycles version of it. I really, really love this one. And of course, you can change the scale of everything going on, make it really extra. And then we got another one, and it's the extra rust. So we got more changes going on. We got a little bit of the metal, but the majority of it has been fully corroded with the, with the, uh, the rust. Here's a really fun shader. It's just a sparkly shader. I went in, add some fun. You can add this to anything. Some of the ads abstract stuff a lot of stuff going on here and you can change the scale of all that if you want to make it really big just click five and now you can see what's going on here and then we got sparkle two a lot more going on with this one we got some clear coat we got kind of the same thing and change the hue of it with this one it's really really cool and fun now we got some spray painted metal we got all the spray paint we got some fall off here we got the metal change the scale of everything change the scale of those little spray painted parts as well as the detail you can make it, you can animate this. So you kind of got that spray paint. We got another one, less spray paint. It's more spread out, a lot a lot more thin. And you can change the scale of everything and have, have a lot of fun with that. And then the last one, it's a simple water shader. We got all these ripples. And you can make it a small pond, a really big lake, whatever you want to do. And this is the water shader. Of course, you can make it like bloody water or anything you want to do. So there you go. That's the material pack. The Blender Market link is in the description. You can go and purchase that and have some fun. Thanks for watching.